Today's a good day. We've taken a uh, historic train depot and uh, converted it from uh, an old 18th century style building into a modern 21st century building on the interior, but left the exterior completely uh, intact as though it was still an 18th century building. So we're here at Valley Pier. Lemoore is the new location. We're just happy to get it open. It's more of a soft opening for us. We're gonna be here for the next few weeks and throw a whole grand opening relaunch on July 4th. So we're happy with everybody. We're, we're thankful we're here, we made it. Oh, here's the man right here too. Cultivation guy, TJ. You got it. I'm a TJ Hammond. I'm a director of cultivation out at a Green Smart Farmer. Just excited to be in Lemoore, opening up uh, another dispensary for the community. Uh, Lemoore voted this in, so we're happy to be here. Uh, this is our fourth Valley store, fifth overall. Just get out here and experience it. Come check out all these great bud tenders. They're so knowledgeable. They will help you with anything. They make you feel comfortable. Support your local bud tenders, that's right. Usually, like I tell the guys, the last wheelbarrow of uh, construction materials coming out as the first customers walking in. We made it by the skin of our teeth. Uh, we left here super late last night. We're here early this morning. Construction crew, all these guys, can't do it without them, bro. Best guys in the business. I'm Matt, I'm the store manager here. Uh, we're super excited to see you guys come down. We've been construction for about three months. As you can see, everything's ready to go. So we're actually gonna be opening up in three minutes. Yeah, right now it is 10 on the dot, so we're speeding through it. We're gonna make it in there. Game time, I'm ready to go. How's everybody doing? Great. Thanks for coming. We're super excited. This is our fourth Valley Pier location. Uh, we're happy to be here in Lemoore to help the community. Uh, the city starts making money today, so we want to put that back into your guys' community. You guys supporting us is a big, huge part of it. Without you guys, we couldn't be here. So I really appreciate everybody being here. We've got a ton of things going on in there. When you guys get in, feel free, browse around, talk to the bud tenders. If you guys need anything, let us know. I'll be here all day. If you guys got any questions, I'd love to answer them. Thank you guys for coming. Ready to go, bring them in. So have you been to a Valley Pier before? No, nope. oh, no, this is the first time. All right, first time. And so what brought you out today? Because I smoked marijuana. All right, all right. What was that? Always here to support us. Go check out CC Biker. So this building is originally from the 1800s. So when we went to find the deed for it, it was like in this old like burlap paper book that had like three inches of dust on it, you know what I mean? We're like, no way, dude. So it was owned by the railroad. So we took it over, revamped it. We paid for the railroad for their space and everything like that. So we have this whole huge shot, you know? So it's actually like eight addresses for this one property. So it goes all the way to the end. You see the bus station at the end right there? That's still in our property. We left it open, fully operational so the city doesn't lose anything. We paid to upgrade the water park next door. And then we're working on some things, help the skate park and some of these local businesses around here. Most of them up, the theater, you know what I mean? So Lemoore is open to cannabis events, which is very rare. Um, a lot of the cities that opened up for cannabis don't actually have an event ordinance. Uh, Lemoore does, and we do have another location, but they're so open here, we're gonna be able to do more things, have more events. City manager Lemoore, super excited, been super helpful. We love Lemoore. It's like our backyard, you know, we had a good relationship with the city. Um, they needed some help. Obviously, they're going to start making money today off the cannabis tax. They were very forward thinking, so it only took us about eight months to put this together and get it operational. People come down to the businesses, they're spending money. Um, you have the theaters about to open up back down here. You got some of the restaurants. We've been blessed enough to have plenty of people to come through here and spend money in the town and kind of revitalize this downtown area. Tell me, uh, you guys are opening here today, soft launch, like you said, what's that kind of like for you guys? Uh, it's it's, it's kind of hectic, you know, we got it all done last minute, inspectors signed off, we got everything open, we were able to pop the doors open at 10 o'clock. You know, we had a lot of naysayers that were like, no, we don't want you here, you know, they started showing up the last few days to kind of see how the location looked. And once they realized, look, we took this old historic train station and we revamped it, you know, we didn't go build a new building, we didn't go mess something else up in the community, take more resources, you know, we took something existing and we made it beautiful, you know, this place has been here 
you know, 200 years, you know what I mean? So it's like you, you get in things like that and you keep these part of history in these towns and that's what's special, you know, the community really likes that and they feed off that. What, what, what's special about your place? Uh, it's just uh, we're a family team. We're all from the valley. You know, this is the whole thing. Since the valley, pure name. We wanted to keep it here local. We don't want big business to come in and kind of take over. So we're we're staying here. Told you, train comes through. Don't be surprised if you see it. Well, we can't tell you too much on what's coming next because, of course, all that's uh, all that's confidential information. But we're working on, you know, let you know that we're working on uh, every county. <laughs> There's a Valley Pier coming to you soon.